Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jamie. I just had to make a quick video about this terrible news story uh, about police abuse, clearly. Um, it's The title of the, the story is called College Park Family Upset After Police uh, Taser Mentally Challenged Man. And uh, I think that this really highlights um, a lot of uh, misconceptions about police authority um, because it says that this man who's 31 years old and mentally challenged was standing out um, in front of his lawn and the officers were on patrol and, and they said they saw him acting suspiciously and they said they asked him to remove his hands and of course you know just because an officer tells you to uh, remove your hands you don't have to do that unless you know you're being detained which requires um, depending on the jurisdiction of course uh, that they have reasonable su suspicion that you have or are about to commit a crime and acting suspiciously is not saying that he's about to commit a crime so they had no right to ask him to remove his hands um, to begin with and um, what's really interesting I think about this news story especially is just how clear it is that the officers report or at least what they're reporting is our, our, our lies because um, the officer said that he refused to remove his hands from his pockets um, and then later in the story it says that the College Park police captain uh, Furman Wilford uh, said the officers acted in self-defense that um, the man uh, raised his fists before he was tasered in, in uh, threatening the officers. Um, which is ironic because the officer said that he wouldn't remove his hands from his pockets to, which you might think was alleviating their suspicions. Um, and yet they say, you know, the, or at least the captain saying that the officers were acting in self-defense because he raised his hands. So what was it? Did his hand, you know, were his hands in his pockets or did he raise his hands out? And they're like, oh, okay, I guess he doesn't have any, you know, a gun on him or something. I mean, it, it's just, it's completely uh, bogus. And, um, and the other uh, hypocrisy and lie that the police are clearly telling is that um, they said that you're be the, you know, the man who's ha ha uh, mentally handicapped uh, was acting suspiciously, and yet, according to the report, um, the officers said that they uh, had different encounters with the man Yerby, uh, that, that, that uh, in the past, let's see, uh, that the officers, um, sorry, I'm just to pull that up. That the, the officer said he had a history of aggression toward police. <laughs> okay, so if this guy is someone that the police had a history with, they didn't know that he was, you know, mentally challenged when they, you know, came to talk with him and he was shaking supposedly. I mean, this is, you know, this is just clear uh, police misconduct and uh, and lies. And I think that uh, these officers should definitely be punished for what they did. Uh, tasing this guy, and I think that, you know, whenever there's a, a report like this, you really need to read between the lines and see what is actually said, because you'll find often that, uh, you know, police are going to say one thing, and uh, the reality of the situation might be a bit different. So, I just had to comment on that, because this is just ridiculous. This is, you know, just flagrantly horrible, flagrantly contradictory. All right, so take care. Just look in the sidebar for the, the link, and uh, I'll see you later.